Hello everybody and this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time. This stitch I'm doing this week is called what I call the Double Trouble stitch number 220-220. The reason I call it Double Trouble it's a single crochet and a double crochet but once you do this stitch you'll be in trouble because you'll want to use this stitch for everything for scarves, hot pads, dish cloths, anything you can think of. Rugs would be wonderful using heavier yarn or doubling up on the yarn. I have my three samples as always. I did the first one. What I do is I change colors every two rows with this pattern. This is done with white and a variegated. Very pretty. You can see the texture in the stitches where the single crochet is in between the double but the double extrudes out to form some nice texture. I always do a sample of all white if you just want a classic design. It's a little bit harder to see this pattern on the white. It shows up a lot better when you're using multi-colors. And because it's July, I had to throw in a red, white, and blue. So this one I used three different colors. This one I used two different colors, and this one was a solid. So for today's swatch, if you're going to work along, um, you're going to need worsted weight yarn, or you could use any yarn you have with an appropriate hook for that yarn. Now I always use a little bit larger hook just to show the details a little bit better on on the video. So for today's swatch you're going to need to chain 24. This pattern is a multiple of two. So if you want to make it a little bit smaller go ahead. Um, you can use whatever size hook you'd like to go with the worsted weight yarn. I'm using the pink cameo and the red heart super saver and white for my swatch and you're going to need to chain 24 so go ahead and get your starting chain ready and I'll be right back to start our swatch I have my chain 24 ready so the first row we're going to do row 1 and it will be all single crochet so what we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to skip your first chain and work a single crochet into your second chain. So insert your hook into the second chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops on your hook. You made your first single crochet. You're going to repeat that across your chains. If you've never crocheted before, you can see, if you look, all these almost like little loops in a chain link. So look for those. Insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on your hook insert your hook into the next chain yarn over the hook pull it through the chain yarn over the hook pull it through two loops on your hook there you can see your stitches forming in each chain so go ahead and repeat that across I'll show you a couple more times insert your hook into the next chain yarn over pull it through the chain yarn over pull it through two loops on the hook. Insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull it through the chain, yarn over, pull it through two loops on the hook. So go ahead and work across, work your last single crochet in your last chain, and I'll meet you at the end of row one. I'm at the end of row one, and this is what your work should look like. One single crochet in each chain across, so now we're going to start row two. So you're going to chain one, yarn over the hook, and pull it through that stitch, that loop. Turn your work. You're going to skip 
you're going to skip this chain one here. So if you're new to crocheting, this is where most people make their mistake. And if you crochet into the stitch, that increases your work and you're going to end up, you know, slanting and gradually getting larger. So sometimes they get really confused when they're first starting. Is this a stitch? No, that's your chain one. So go ahead and skip your chain one. Go down here and if you're not sure, follow your stitches up from the bottom. Here's your little V to the bottom of the stitch. Insert your hook into that first single crochet under those two strands of yarn. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on the hook. That's your first single crochet and you can see that it's lined up with the single crochet on the edge. Now you're going to chain one you're going to skip this next stitch, the next single crochet, so skip that. Insert your hook into the next single crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two. So you just worked a single crochet in your first single crochet. You chained one, you skipped the next single crochet, you single crocheted in the next stitch. So you're going to repeat this across your row. You're going to chain one, so yarn over the hook and pull it through your loop. That's your chain one. You're going to skip the next single crochet and you're going to crochet into the next single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through your stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on your hook. You're going to chain one, yarn over the hook and pull it through your loop. You're going to skip the next single crochet and you're going to skip single crochet into the next single crochet. So insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops on your hook. So go ahead and work that across your row and you will end with a single crochet into that last single crochet of your row and I will meet you at the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two and this is what your work should look like. It might be a little bit harder to see since I am using a variegated yarn. Um, you do have your first row of all single crochet. The second row is single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet. So now I'm just going to fasten this off. I just put my yarn over the hook, pull it through, yarn over the hook, pull it through, and then I just pull it down. Now for video purposes, I am going to let my ends hang because if I try to work over them, you will not be able to see where I'm putting my hook. So you're going to turn your work. I'm going to take my new color, which is the white. I just fold my end down a little bit so there's a little piece to work over the stitches. You're going to insert your hook into that first single crochet right there into that first stitch. You're going to take your new color and just pull it through. You're going to chain one and then you're going to work a single crochet in the same beginning single crochet. And I just worked my yarn over this thread but I usually bring this back and work across, but you won't, you won't be able to see where I'm putting my stitches, so I'm just going to let them hang there for now. So to begin our pattern, you have a chain one here. So the instructions will say, working behind the chain one space, double crochet in the skipped single crochet in the row below. So this is your chain one and we're going to go behind it. Most of the time they work over the chain but we're not going to do that. We're going to just go behind the chain. Let me get these, these threads are just getting in my way. You're going to put the yarn over your hook. You're going to take your hook and put it right from the back to the front is how I do it 
and I take my hook, this here part of the hook, and I just grab the top of that stitch and I bring it to the back. Yarn over the hook, through that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on the hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on hook. And what you're doing is, all you're doing is a double crochet, but you're doing it behind this chain one space. And that's what forms the texture. It pushes your stitch out. Now this may take some getting used to if you've never done this before, but once you do it a couple times, it's really super simple. You're going to insert your hook and work a single crochet into the next single crochet. So insert your hook into that single crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. So now we're going to work a double crochet behind the chain one in the single crochet stitch in the row below. So yarn over the hook, you're going to come behind this stitch. I just take my hook from the back to the front, turn my hook and I grab my hook and I grab those two loops right here in that stitch. And you just push your hook to the back. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. And you can see that your double crochet are behind this chain one space. So I'll do it a few more times. Next, you're going to do a single crochet in this next single crochet. Insert your hook in the single crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it through your stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. So there you worked your single crochet. Now we're going to work the double crochet behind the chain one space in the single crochet in the row below. Yarn over the hook. You're going to come from back to front through that space. Turn your hook. Turn it and grab those top two loops of that stitch. Push your hook to the back. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through the stitch. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through two loops. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. I'll show you one more time and then you'll repeat this across the row. You'll single crochet into the next single crochet. And then you're going to work a double crochet behind the chain one in the single crochet in the row below. Yarn over the hook. Come from the back to the front through that chain space. Turn your hook. Grab the top of that stitch, push your hook to the back, yarn over the hook, pull it through the top of that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. And if you have trouble working that stitch, just go back a little bit in the video and just keep replaying it until you get the hang of it. So go ahead and work your stitches across and you'll end with a single crochet in this last single crochet and I will meet you at the end of row three. I'm at the end of row three and this is the back side of your work. All the even number rows are the right side. So here we are at the end of row three. We're going to turn our work. We're going to chain one and turn your work. And there you can see how the textured pattern is starting to form on your work. So this is what your piece should look like. And like I said, these ends here, we can weave them in when you're all finished. Just use a yarn needle or if you get really good at this stitch, then you just can work your stitches right over your ends until they're worked in. So to start row four, you're going to single crochet into this first single crochet here. Insert your hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through that single crochet, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. So your single crochet should always line up with each other. Your first and last stitch will always be a single crochet. So now to work our pattern across, you're going to chain one and you're going to skip this double crochet here 
and you're going to single crochet into the next single crochet. So insert your hook into the next single crochet, yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. So to work this across, you're going to chain one, skip the next double crochet, single crochet, and the next single crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that across and when you get to the end of row four you will be ending with a single crochet in the ending single crochet and I will meet you at the end of row four. I'm at the end of row four so now I'm going to fasten off my work and like I said for video purposes I'm not weaving in my ends I'm just going to let them hang at the side so this way you can see where my stitches are going a lot better. You're going to turn your work and like I said this pattern you change colors every two rows but you do not have to use two colors you can use as many colors as you want but it's usually change colors every two rows. So insert your hook into that beginning single crochet just look for the edge stitch here insert your hook and I'm going to pull my new color through. And, and rows 5 and 6 are basically the same as rows 3 and 4, but because we did our base rows and we use single crochet, we don't use the single crochet after rows 1 and 2, we jump to the double crochet. So like I said, rows 5 and 6 is basically the same, only you're working a double crochet. So pull that new color through chain one, single crochet into that beginning single crochet. I'm just going to pull that to the side. Now we're going to start the same process. We're going to work a double crochet behind this chain one space in the double crochet one row below. So when you're working this row, it's very important to make sure you don't grab anything down here. You want to, even if you have to use your fingers and stick your fingers in there, look for these here two loops of that top of that double crochet. So yarn over the hook. You're going to go from the back to the front, whoops, through that chain one space. You're going to turn that hook. You're going to grab those two strands, yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops. So there you just made your double crochet behind the chain one space in the double crochet one row below. So now you're going to work a single crochet into the next single crochet. Now we're going to do the same with the double crochet. You're going to work a double crochet behind the chain one space in the top of the next or in the top of the double crochet in the row below. Yarn over the hook, insert from back to front, turn that hook, grab those two loops of that double crochet stitch, push that hook right to the back, yarn over the hook, pull it through the top of that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. Let me show you one more time. Single crochet into the next single crochet. Double crochet, yarn over the hook. Behind the chain one space, you're going to go from back to front, turn the hook, grab those two strands, push that hook to the back, yarn over the hook, pull it through the top of that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, single crochet in the next single crochet. So repeat that across your row and I will meet you at the end of row five. 
I'm at the end of row five and this is the back of your work. This is what it should look like. So row five was the first row of our repeat. This is a two row repeat pattern and you'll be repeating rows five and six for however many rows you would like and to end and finish the pattern you would always end with a row five. So go ahead and chain one, turn your work, and we will work the final row of our repeat. So you're going to single crochet, so look for that beginning single crochet, single crochet in the beginning single crochet, chain one, skip your next double crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that across you will end with a single crochet in your ending single crochet and I'll meet you at the end of row six. I'm at the end of row six and that was the last row of the repeat. Again you will be repeating, row, repeating rows five and six for the pattern. Very nice pretty textured pattern. Once you get the hang of working that double crochet behind the chain one space, this is a really fun stitch to do. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Stitch of the Week. Here's our July 4th red, white, and blue, our classic white, and our variegated samples. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for stopping by, and happy crocheting!